hello beautiful people welcome to my channel <laughs> i'm so excited to see you guys again my name is elisa mamli saki but hey don't stress just call me mamli if possible at superstar mamli superstar <laughs> my god <laughs> if this is your first time saying this pretty face you're officially welcome to my channel and i want you to stay i want you to stick and stay so why don't you smash that subscribe button so you get to see more of my videos and to my returning subscribers ah you know i love you guys and i appreciate the support the love and support all right in today's video i'm going to teach you that how to make pre-made crochet full locks i'll also be teaching you guys how to install the pre-made locks it's actually a two-in-one video i'll teach you how to install it beautifully like that if you are interested in learning how to do this why don't you watch this video till the very end if you have any questions kindly leave it in the comment section i'll do well to answer them all thank you all for watching i'll see you all in my next video for now it's bye bye guys to start off we'll be using six packs of the noble gold afro twist or mali twist hair in black and you can actually use any kinky hair to achieve same look and you can find this in any shop that sells hair extensions then we'll be using some brazilian wool and this is just a few pieces i took from a pack which has about 12 pieces so this is just me tying a piece of the Brazilian wool around my wig making stand and my ring light. You can go ahead and use anything around you that you think will be helpful to you to achieve the same thing. Because this is what we are going to be making our pre-made crochet full locks on. So this line will help us achieve that. Next, I am measuring a piece of the Brazilian wool against my body in order to achieve a butt length for my clients. And this is going to serve as the base for our full locks. To prep the afro twist hair, we are going to use our fingers to gently open the hair up and brush the tip in order to get the hair fully stretched and fluffy. Next, we are going to take a piece of the afro twist hair and begin to wrap it around our base which is the brazilian wool what we want to do is to strike a balance when it comes to the wrapping we don't want to wrap too tight or too loose guys this part of the video is pretty much self-explanatory so we are going to do it like so wrap gently and then use our index finger or pointer finger to flip it to the other side we wrap gently, not too tight or too loose. Flip it over to the other side with our pointer finger. And that is how we want to keep doing it. Now, when our first piece of Afro twist hair is about finishing, we are going to take another piece and then attach it to where it ends and continue wrapping like that to seal the ends of our locks we are going to take one strand of the afro twist hair divide it into two equal half then divide one half into two equal pieces next we are going to trim off the excess brazilian wool at the end of our locks with our scissors and then flip it upwards like so and then use the small piece of our afro twist hair to wrap around it tightly facing upwards and that is how we secure the ends of our locks after everything is wrapped up nicely we are going to secure the locks with super glue this will prevent the ends from unraveling and we are gently going to wrap the locks in our palm to make everything firm and secure the client's hair has been neatly washed and prepped to start the installation process. 
I then made section and to perfect the lines I went ahead to use X block edge control. We are then going to pat the sections into medium sized boxes and braid the client's natural hair down and this is going to form the basis for our installation. We are going to make 40 boxes in all. To install the locks, we are going to be using a crochet pin to pull the client's natural hair through the loop on the four locks, fold it over, and pull the tip of the client's natural hair either through the root or through the middle of the braids. Still using the crochet pin, we are going to pull through the roots of the client's natural hair, a small piece of the mallet twist hair, and begin to wrap all the way down. Remember, we are not wrapping too tight or too loose. We will then secure everything with super glue and wrap the locks gently in our palm. We will be doing the same thing all over till we finish the entire boxes. Then went ahead to finish everything up with mousse and an oil spray, laid her edges beautifully. And that is just it guys for this video.